We have eight of 11 members. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, so last time we talked about um, the, well, why has this changed? Uh, last time we talked about, can you hear yes, me? Yes, I can. Yeah, yes, we can. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, last time we talked about um, what we wanted to do was standardize um, the cloud drivers. Uh, I had two action items and I severely underestimated the amount of time that I was going to have to work on any of this. Um, so I think it would be better to delegate and let some, let other people help with that. Um, uh, who is interested in helping go through the cloud drivers and figuring out what actually is required to be a cloud driver? Unfortunately, I wasn't here last time, so I don't have full context for the task. I've certainly worked with uh, okay. cloud drivers a bit. So um, we have uh, we have a whole bunch of cloud drivers, and we have some things that are required in order for them to be used by Salt Cloud. Um, the in order to create a cloud server, there has to be a create function in the cloud driver. There also has to be stuff like uh, avail underscore images, which is what is used by the dash dash list dash images flag on the Salt dash cloud command. Um, my goal for our, our first task by the release of, I think, Sodium was to try to document all that so that we would know what we had. Because right now it's kind of a crapshoot. Some drivers have some of them and some drivers have almost none of them. Um, so my plan, my plan, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say you're talking about going through the integrations and trying to determine sort of the minimum viable feature set for a cloud provider. Yes. Um, and documenting that um, because we can't really like the eventual plan was to take salt cloud and move it out of salt into a different format. The problem is we can't do that if we don't know what we have right now. Understood. Gotcha. Um, I can split up the cloud drivers by driver and we could just assign some of them um, and just go through and write down what they all have. Um, if you want to get the minimum viable feature set, what, wouldn't we want to start from the other side though and go through the code that connects to the cloud drivers and say what sort of features do, does it assume yeah. is there? Yeah, we want to, we need, I probably, it would probably be best if like two or three people started on that portion. Um, and I just haven't, like, I was supposed to do most of that uh, as my uh, kind of what I was going to do. Um, and I just, I did not have any time in the last month. Um, uh, how, do you, um, uh, how do you see the end result? That? Uh, just a list of, like, in order to be in the cloud drivers list, you have to have these things. So something uh, like a list of functions in a cloud driver. Yeah. And how many drivers are there? All of there's, uh, I don't know, they're all in salt cloud clouds. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. There's 33. A lot. A lot. Yeah. So, I mean, it shouldn't be like, we need to just come up with what is being used uh, and then figure out which ones meet those minimum requirements. And which driver is good, uh, could be good as a baseline? Well, as uh, Adam said, it would be good to just go through the salt cloud code and figure out what actual functions we use from um, the cloud drivers. Because like, so any, they can just provide whatever, like. Um, oh, okay. 
EC2 provides functions for creating uh, virtual drives. Some so of the components. Basically, basically, something like a spreadsheet would, would be sufficient. Yeah. Can we split the work? Would you be willing to work on part of that? Mm, yeah. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Yeah, I'm willing to contribute cycles to that. Perfect. Uh, probably. I, I, I can do some of it. Awesome. Yeah, uh, my there was one more. Yeah, my self saw me now then. I can also. Can we can open up a, a Google uh, Drive? There is a uh, there is an Excel, and we can share. Yep. We can start with that. Great. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So that's uh, that's all I really have. Um, until we have that, there's not a lot that we can do um, for our first goal. The other one is I'm going to submit a talk for Salt Comp 2019 to um, to talk about practice and the future of salt cloud. Um, Adam, you weren't here, but I think most everyone else remembers. So practice is basically the idea that we take all the uh, like photo execution modules out of salt and make them available inside of their own tool so that they can be used in like a Terraform type way. What is, what is, what is your plan around uh, state management? Uh, I mean, it just works. It just uses states. Uh, no, I mean, uh, Terraform has uh, basically that oh. way of all the resources. The, we don't have but to. The, so the salt. Some Terraform yeah. performance edge with Terraform. Sure. Um, salt would be slower than Terraform because it doesn't maintain or doesn't manage state consistently between runs. Instead, what it does is it uses the salt state system to discover the state that it is in currently and the state that you describe it to be in, in order to change it to be in the new state. So I think one of the big, obviously, drivers for Terraform to maintain state is to remove objects that are removed from the state files. Do you have a vision for how that would work in the model you're describing? Um, Assault Cloud already does something like that. Uh, if you've seen the hard dash dash hard, what it'll do is anything that's not referenced across the state uh, tree would be deleted. Okay, but that would be the only way to clean up resources that you've deleted from your state files? No. Uh, well, if you delete them from the state files, you can also include like cloud.absent. Okay, so you would have to do something like that to get them to actually remove resources you wanted to no longer define. Yeah. Gotcha. And it, that's the same way that's that just the salt state state system works as is. Yeah, that's the how goal, it works with files and other things make, I follow. Yeah, the goal is to make salt cloud more salt like. The problem with salt cloud is it was built independently and then shimmed into salt and then not like integrated well. Um, so we have map files and uh, they are like, um, they're not states, there's kind of this ephemeral thing that's not used anywhere else. Makes sense. Okay, so you three are going to work on that. Um, I'll write up after this, I'll write up some notes on what we talked about today. Um, that'll be that and then make an action item uh, for y'all. Do you think you can, we can do that for the next month? I certainly have time to work on it, yeah. Great. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, I will add an action item to have a draft for a submittal of talking about uh, Fractus at SaltConf by the time we have another meeting. Uh, that'll be the replacement for the blog post I promised from last time. Uh, does anybody have any questions or comments about anything else we should be doing? Um, what is the vision with relation to this working group and sort of the bugs that are related to salt cloud? Do we want to review them or assign that as a task or how are we going to? Um, that's a good idea. Um, yes. The uh, part of the problem is none of them have been, I think some of them have been tagged. Let's see if those, that tag's still out there. 
Uh, I don't see cloud as one of the available labels in GitHub. It's, it's salt cloud. Salt yeah, cloud. none of the, oh, those are PRs, yes. The label is salt-cloud. Okay. Um, and there's 44 open issues. Yes. Um, who would be um, of the people who don't have anything? Um, can we get some commitment to just go through and categorize which ones them based on priority or like severity? Because they're, they're all high severity. That's part of the like problem with SALT's triage system. If it's not critical, it's high severity. And if it doesn't affect anyone and it's just documentation, then it's medium severity. Um, so it'd be good to know what, if something's actually like breaking people's use of salt cloud entirely, or if it's just like, oh, this, this doesn't work for this one cloud provider. Anyone? I mean, some of these haven't been touched in years, actually. Yeah, we just need to go through and figure out if they're still like needed. Uh, that's that. That would be a first good, a good first step. Um, uh, there's one that's just like I submitted a PR. And someone asked, "How's it going?" And then someone said, "I haven't used salt in in a year or two. You're like, "Well, that could probably be closed." All right. Um, we will. I don't know that I will have time this cycle, but I am very, uh, very invested in this issue. I, I think as yeah, someone yeah. who has oftentimes been a first-time contributor to projects, um, having a set of bugs that are unmaintained is an incredibly daunting way to go into a project. So sure. I would be happy to devote time to it. I just can't commit to in this next cycle because yeah, yeah. I'm already kind of I, working on the cloud stuff. So. Yeah. Uh, Cedric, Max, or Tommy, anyone? Well, uh, I'll be on vacation for the next month. Uh, don't count me for the next. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm on vacation next week. So today is today is it. I'm going to go pack up after this. And I don't want to overcommit at the beginning. As a what? I don't want to overcommit my time. Okay. Um, uh, what, is, what is the state of for a unit test for salt cloud drivers? So the problem with testing salt cloud is that um, if you unit test it, uh, it's very cherry picked on the testing front. Um, when you, uh, there are integration tests for most of the like cloud providers that salt wrote. The problem is we can't look at the results of them because they have API yeah. keys in them, um, in the output. Um, I don't have an answer to that. Um, do you have any ideas on t how to test salt cloud better? I'm not familiar with the code base, unfortunately, yet. Okay. Uh, maybe Soltech wants to invest into uh, cloud accounts. Maybe. To have some live, to have some live tests. Uh, they have salt, they have cloud accounts. They, they run the integration tests, we just can't see them because they have the API keys in them. So they run, like if you look at Jenkins, jenkinsci.saltstack.com or jenkinsci-staging, there is so a- at least, uh, at least we have a list of drivers that are tested, yeah, right? Yeah, semi-tested. I think most of them just build, uh, they just build a cloud server and make sure it builds. Uh, there's no kind of like like end-to-end -end testing of anything as far as I'm aware, really. Um, yeah, you can click on, here, I'll put it in uh, the cloud channel. You can click on it, um, it's forbidden because it has the, uh, the API keys printed out. Um, that's part of the reason, like, we have a whole bunch of stuff to like unit test, um, so the link shows it is forbidden, 403 forbidden. Yes. 
That's what I said. It is forbidden. Oh. They won't, they make it forbidden because it has the API keys in the console logs. Okay. Um, so we can't, oh. like, there are tests, we can't see them. Could we build a system that generates one time use keys so the keys are in the logs, but it doesn't matter because you just never use them again? Um, maybe. Uh, we could work on that. Add that as an as an item to look into, but um, it would require salt to come out and dedicate some time to actually getting it to work in Jenkins for us. Right. Uh, Tyler, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, do you think there's any chance that salt would be able to dedicate time to that for us? Sorry, to what? Do you think there's any chance that Salt would be able to dedicate time to getting like one-time use keys working in the integration test so that we can actually see the Salt Cloud integration test results? Uh, I'll check on that. Okay. Uh, I will add, so we have an action item for documenting. We have, I'll add you as an action, with an action item for that. Um, I'll try to dedicate um, five hours before next week to go, or before next month to go through and figure out what issues actually need, are issues and what needs to be resolved. Um, can anybody else dedicate any time to that? Okay, well, um, that's all I have then. Uh, anybody else have anything else? May I make a suggestion? This is Vernon Cole. Okay. It might be uh, easier to obfuscate the log than to make one time pads for some of the keys. Uh, Yes, that's probably easier. Uh, either way, either one of them would work, uh, Tyler. If you want to, the problem is that, um, I mean, Jenkins has the ability to obfuscate the logs. We just need to put all of the stuff that's in Salt Jenkins pillars, the Salt, salt dash Jenkins repository. It lays down a whole bunch of um, cloud profiles and providers. When it does that, we sh we need to make sure that all of those are also in Jenkins, so that Jenkins just removes them from the console log. That would be another option. Either one of those would be would be viable for allowing us to test. Yeah, small Jenkins would make sense for letting everyone have a key. I'm sorry, what? If everyone could have access to Salt Jenkins, or at least the parts of it that are related to the cloud test, that would be helpful. I'll see what we can do there. No, I'm talking about like, um, so we don't need login access to Jenkins. Um, what we would need is um, the ability to see the console logs. So if you can generate a one-time like API key by API, I don't know. The problem with that is that, um, not all cloud providers allow you to programmatically generate API keys. Uh, but uh, the way that Jenkins deploys the cloud profiles for the cloud tests is it has a pillar it, in the salt Jenkins, it's github.com slash salt stack slash salt dash Jenkins. There are cloud provider, cloud profile, and cloud provider uh, SLS files that lay down the, those profiles and providers. And it pulls from pillar data. And that pillar data is placed there by Kitchen Salt. Um, if we can take all of the API keys that are laid down by Kitchen Salt and put them into Jenkins and assign, the, assign them to the cloud tests, Jenkins will obfuscate the, um, the API keys in the console log. Gotcha. Um, yeah, either one of those, that's probably the easier option. Um, like Vernon said, the problem is that. Um, if you ever update an API key in there, you have to also update it in Jenkins. So that'll probably be something that you need to reach out to the SRU team about. 
Yeah, I worked right next to the SRE team, so I'll talk with them about it today and work something out. All right, sounds good. Uh, anything else? Let me take a picture. Um, all right, uh, I don't have anything else for today then. Uh, I'll write up meeting notes and, um, or write, just write up action items for next month. Uh, and then we'll get a, we'll get a Google Doc started or Google Sheets started for um, Michael. Uh, how do you spell your sound, say your name, Swami Nathan? Yeah, you can call me a Swami. Okay, so, uh, Michael, Swami, and Adam. And we'll get a, yeah. a spreadsheet started for uh, going through those cloud, cloud drivers. I have a need to. Oh, uh, you too? Yeah. All right, sounds good. Um, thank uh, so you very I much. hope. Huh? I hope you have our uh, Gmail ID. Yes. Gmail. You have it? I have a Gmail ID. I have a Gmail e uh, account, yes. No, no, no. You have hours? You, do you, you have to give all of our sort of Google information oh, to share the document. I'm going to take it and I'm just going to make it open to the world and then put it in the cloud channel. Okay. Um, we'll, I'll make it viewable and then I can add y'all, uh, afterwards. I, yeah, we'll just add whoever needs to be able to edit it afterwards. The email address and the invite will work for me. So that's a G Suite account. Perfect. Um, I think that, I don't know that I have access to that. Maybe. Uh, I think that you can request access to edit the sheet once I give it to you and then I can just click a button. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I will get that done in just a minute and then send it to y'all. I'll put it in the cloud channel on the community side. Sure. All right. Um, everyone have a great weekend. Enjoy your vacation. Yeah. Right, thanks. Thank you. You too. Yeah, Cedric too. Thank right. you. Bye. Enjoy. Thanks, mate.